Now use of aggregate functions. So we learnt in the previous class how to do the average. Okay, how to do, count the number of cells, how to count the number of cells with the text, how to find the maximum value out of a, a number of values, how to find the minimum value, how to multiply means product, standard deviation, everything we have learnt. The same functions are performed by one more function that is aggregate function. Okay, these are all separate functions. Average count, count A, for example. So here, first we will find the average. Average. Is it visible to all? Here is equal to is equal to average. Okay, if you just type average, some few two so to three letters, it will be uh, automatically appear. The drop down list will appear. You can click double you double click on this. Whichever the numbers you want to do the average, you select that set of numbers. Press enter. Okay, the average number will be counted. Here you are getting so many digits after the point. You can reduce it here by uh, clicking on decrease decimal option. Okay, we'll keep two digits after the point. Now, now I have calculated the average. Similarly, another functions will be performed. Count, count A. I will do count also. Count function. Count. Is equal to count double click. I'll select the same numbers. I think these are all not the numbers. Is equal to count. I'll select the same column now. Enter. It is giving number of counts, number of cells which you have selected. It is giving. Now, what I will do is here we have some calculation for this. What is the calculation? This 77. How it has come? 77 is equal to sum of two numbers. Which are two numbers? Sum of 35 and 42. Okay, sum of 35 and 42 is 77. Similarly, 48 is sum of 18 and 30. There is some calculation behind these numbers. Okay. So while working with the cal uh, this uh, uh, Excel sheet, if there is some error, instead of 50, what I will do is I will put some dollars in here. Now what is showing? It is showing some error. It is showing some error. Now if I want to calculate the average here, is equal to average. Average of the same numbers. Enter. Are you getting the average? You are not getting. Why? Because there is some erroneous value uh, in between uh, the numbers which you have selected. Because of that, you are not getting the average. Okay. Now, what I want to do is I want to calculate the average of all the numbers leaving that error is value. OK, I don't want to include that uh, error value in the numbers which I want to calculate the average. OK, for that we will be using this uh, aggregate function. We'll be using aggregate function, OK, which means if there are some hidden rows or if there are some erroneous values, OK, excluding those erroneous values, if you want to calculate the average, if you want to calculate anything, minimum value, maximum value, we will use this aggregate function. OK, now by using aggregate function, we can get the value. Now I'll include by using aggregate function, I'll calculate the average now. Now go to the cell is equal to type aggregate. Aggregate, double click on that. Now it will ask for uh, whether to calculate average, count, count a maximum, minimum. Now we want, we are interested to calculate the average number. Average number, double click on average. Okay. Now type comma, type comma. After typing the comma, it will ask for few options. Okay. Ignore 
nested some total and aggregate functions like that ignore nothing ignore hidden values okay ignore okay. error values so here by ignoring the error value calculate the average you will select this sixth <laughs> option ignore error values double click on that okay again type comma now we select the numbers all the numbers select all the numbers Type enter now average is calculated. Okay, so this is what the uh, function of this aggregate aggregate option. Now there is one more uh, function. What I will do is I will hide uh, two to three rows which I don't want. Okay, so these three rows I am hiding. Okay, select the rows, select the rows, right click, right click. Hide. Now three rows are hidden. Three, three rows are hidden. Now you have to calculate average excluding the hidden rows. You have to calculate the average excluding the hidden rows. If you just to give average option, average. If you select all the columns or all the numbers, so. Okay. Yeah. Now it is calculating average, including the hidden rows. Okay. If you just give the average, it is it will calculate average including the hidden rows. Excluding the hidden rows, if you want to calculate the average, what you need to use, you need to use aggregate function. Okay. You have to use aggregate function again here is equal to aggregate aggregate. Average, average, comma, ignore hidden rows. Okay, ignore hidden rows. Select that. Double click, comma, select all the numbers once again. Type enter. Now, excluding the hidden rows, it is giving the average number. Excluding the hidden rows, it is giving the average number. If you want to Calculate average including hidden rows and error values. Then we have that option also. I'll just create an error value now. Now there is an error. Okay, is equal to aggregate average comma. Here we have the option ignore hidden rows and error values. Click that. Double click. Comma, select the same set of numbers. Type enter. You will get the average excluding the hidden rows and error values. Okay. Similarly, you can perform all other functions. Okay. All other functions means here up to tenth function you practice it. Okay. Count a maximum minimum product standard deviation. Some this I, I have already explained in the previous class. You want me to explain once again? Okay. You start working on uh, all the options. If you get any doubt, I will I'll be there. I will help you out there. Okay. So this is about uh, aggregate function. Okay. So to this, uh, we have done with experiment number one. In experiment number one, what are all the functions? Functions we have: creation of spreadsheet, insertion and deletion of the rows and the columns, drag and fill, use of aggregate functions. Okay. Then uh, coming to experiment number two, we have uh, importing data, data entry and manipulation, sorting and filtering. Now I'll discuss the first one: importing data, importing data. See. <laughs> If you go somewhere for shopping and all, he will give your name, number, everything. No, so it will be stored in some format. It will be stored in some format. If you want to import that data which is collected into the Excel, how to do it? Let, let's see now. For that, uh, I have collected some worksheets for experiment two. So here we have a few set of data. You will import this. Is, see, I'll just open this file. 
So you can see, see this data is in some other format. Okay. If you want to do some analysis on the data which you collected, you have to import this data into the Excel. Okay, you have to import this data into the Excel. Let us see how to import this data into the Excel. It is in some other format. Okay, it is in some other format. I'll uh, take the same uh, file. I'll import whatever the data we have here. I'll import all the data into the Excel now. I'll close this. Now I'll create a new worksheet. Okay, how to create the new worksheet? Right click new Microsoft Excel worksheet import data import data open the file open the file see to import the data which is there in this file okay Olympic medals file okay here we have an option called data okay go to data so here we have one more option get data click on get data then here you'll get so many options from file from database okay click on from database here from microsoft access database select this now you have to choose that file i'll choose that file now so here we have that file click on import Now it is imported, it is getting imported. See here, in this file, we have uh, so many data. So with respect to disciplines, it is uh, it is a data related to Olympic, Olympic uh, games, okay? You can see uh, so many uh, games are there, which are listed in this uh, file. Events are there, then medals. So much of data is there in this file, okay? So much of data is there. Now I want to, import this disciplines data okay in the excel sheet so here i've given that option so here it is asking for which file you want to import i'll select this file select this file click on load click on load now that data will be generated in the excel sheet Here you can see the progress. Now it is imported. Similarly, if you want to import some other data, go to data file, get data from database, import. Medals. It'll take some time to load. data is more that's why it, it took time okay you can see the, all the data is being uh, appeared in uh, excel sheet it is having so much of data we can see around uh, 35,591 rows are there in this uh, excel file okay there is one more option in import uh, uh, I'll create one more. I'll, I'll take the same Excel sheet. So you can import multiple files at a single time. Okay, that also you can see. So you go to data, get data from Microsoft Access Database. So here.
See here you have a, one option called select multiple items. Okay. Select multiple items, which uh, you check this uh, box. Okay, you can select all the items, whichever you want. Then you just click on load, all the files will be imported at a single time. Okay. It will take some time. You can see all the all the files have been imported here. If you want to see each and individual files, you have to right click here, right click, then uh, load to the table. Say okay, you will get the data. Okay, so all the four files suddenly it will not be appeared. You have to load once again. The data is appeared. If you want to see teams here, right click, load to table. Okay. See, in this worksheet, we have a one option that is Olympic medals. If we have some data with the same Excel format, okay, then that also you can import. You see that. See, here you have one file. The Olympic sports file you have that is Excel only. You can uh, import this file also directly by using the same option data from a file you need to choose now from workbook. You can select this file, say import. It will get important. Now you can see the important data here. 